The Nord CE4 is the latest mid-range smartphone from OnePlus which focuses on its core experience philosophy. This new Nord packs in plenty of upgrades over the previous Nord CE3, but somehow we aren't convinced about whether you should upgrade to one. Keep watching to find out why. The Nord CE4, just like previous models, has a rear panel and frame that's made from polycarbonate. The design appears quite fresh as it is very different from the previous Nord smartphone models. It has an overall slim and chiseled appearance and does not feel too heavy at 186 grams. I like the new layout of the camera setup, which makes it appear as if the rear cameras are floating in a large droplet of water. Unlike previous Nord smartphones launched in India, the OnePlus Nord CE 4's design comes with two interesting design-related features. The Nord CE 4 comes with an IP54 dust and water resistant certification, which is not much to brag about at this price point, but it will bring users some peace of mind knowing that their phone can withstand sprays of water. And since it can withstand splashes of water, OnePlus has also baked in its AquaTouch technology for its display from the OnePlus 12 series to ensure that the screen can be used with damp fingers. The phone's 6.7-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED panel shows vibrant colors and offers a dynamic 120Hz maximum screen refresh rate. It also packs an HDR10 Plus certification meaning you can enjoy your favorite streaming shows in HDR quality. Software performance is not something Nord CE4 owners will have to worry about. OnePlus has optimized its OxygenOS 14 software well. With Android 14 as its base and minimal bloatware, this phone runs battery smooth with no hiccups whatsoever. I am also a fan of Fluid Cloud which works like Apple's Dynamic Island. It is a really good addition to OxygenOS 14 and is more useful when combined with the Smart Suggestions feature, pushing live notifications to the always on display. I just hope that it gets more support for third party apps in the future. Gaming following stands with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 SoC and 8GB of RAM isn't exactly an issue. The phone can run popular 3D games comfortably at medium graphics, but I found the claim 240Hz touch something rate a bit laggy. OnePlus has replaced the tried and tested Sony IMX890 sensor from Nord C3 on the primary camera with a new 50 megapixel light 600 half inch type sensor with an f1.8 aperture. The rest of the cameras pretty much remain the same as on the Nord C3, except that there is no dedicated macro camera. The primary camera captures vibrant images with saturated colors. Dynamic range is impressive, so there's good detail in the shadows when shooting in bright daylight. When shooting in low light, details take a hit and textures appear a bit flat and end up looking like paintings in areas with dim lighting. The photos also appear quite washed out and don't show accurate colors. Switching to the ultra-wide camera, the photos have decent dynamic range with good detail in the shadows but appear a bit soft. Texture and details are on the lower side and pretty much average for a smartphone at this price point. Low light photos come out soft and blurry. Shooting selfies in daylight shows decent facial details but shows below average edge detection when using the portrait mode. In low light, selfies are low on facial details and you will need to fire up flash to get decent results. Video recorded at 1080p, whether at 30 or 60fps, appeared scaled down, lacking resolution and detail. 4K 30fps footage appears too shaky when both panning or walking around, but it offers the best resolution and detail. Low light video recordings at any resolution are too noisy to be usable. Packing a massive 5500mAh battery, the phone easily lasted about a day and a half with heavy usage and can easily deliver two whole days of use if you are not into gaming or don't use the cameras. Charging speeds are super quick thanks to the 100W charger, which comes in the box. It charges the Nord C4 from 0-50% to in 15 minutes and completes the charge in 39 minutes, which is pretty fast for a phone at this price point. The OnePlus Nord CE4 sure packs in some interesting upgrades for those looking for a mid-ranger, but its lackluster camera performance and gaming performance stand out like a sore thumb, given that this smartphone is aimed at the youth. To make things worse, its price tag puts it against some very capable and feature-packed smartphones like the powerful Poco X6 Pro and the slim and stylish Motorola Edge 40, which apart from its looks also offers wireless charging and an IP68 rating. Then there's a Realme 12 Pro which offers an excellent set of primary and telephoto cameras and an IP65 rating at a slightly higher price point. However, if you are on a tight budget and want a smooth and stable software experience, OnePlus's Nord C4 may just be the right smartphone at the right price. <laughs>